it's not comfortable for highway use you know it's great for getting around town or getting out in the dirt or doing something like that but it's it's not comfortable for long distance highway for me anyway i know other people do it but i'm used to riding gold wings on the highway so all my uh all my friends always said you know it's a harley for show a honda for go that's right oh no yes enjoy you Right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. I got to show my viewers how cold it is out here. 26 degrees, guys. Pretty chilly. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, you too. Take care. That gentleman came over here to talk to me. Nice guy. People like to talk to me. I just have that personality. So I am, uh, I have put the WePro uh, anti fog visor insert into my dual sport uh, fully full enclosed helmet. So you can see the outline of it right there, I hope. I hope you can see the outline of it right there. Don't know for sure but I hope you can and I've got to have this camera tilted slightly because I tilt my head to the right so I'm just going to take a quick ride today I don't have the other camera set up on the bike because honestly I just I wasn't planning on making a video but since I had a camera on my helmet I decided why not holy shit this is icy the trick to this is to just coast across it guys when you see ice, just coast right across it. Don't try to accelerate or hit the brakes. Just coast across it. So I've got the new mic set up in this helmet. I'm hoping that it will pick up okay and not sound all crappy. And I've also got the uh, camera mounted on the chin as you can see. Now you can clearly see this visor is fogging up around the Wii Pro visor, the insert. So this is working for a little while, but the last test I did with my fully enclosed helmet, the anti-fog visor fogged up at 20 degrees. It's 26 degrees now, so that might make a difference. But I thought I'd go for a ride today and try this visor out and I honestly was not going to make a video about it but I decided to go ahead and turn on the camera since it was already on my helmet I already had it all set up ready to go so I just wanted to show you what the temperature was because it is chilly out here at 26 degrees now in my last video you saw where I don't know if you can hear all that wind smacking the helmet or not. I sure can. Holy crap. That's loud in my ears. In my last video, you saw where I uh, broke the visor on my other helmet. And that's okay. I got another visor for it. Not a big deal. Uh, it came with two visors. It came with a tinted visor. So... I just put the tin advisor on it and use it for summer use. Not going to use it for winter riding, but you know, every time I come to a stop, that's when my visor fogs up. And so far, the Wii Pro visor hasn't done that on me. Neutral grab again. I just can't get these fat boots under this shifter properly, to be honest with you. It's really difficult. So in my last video, I broke the visor on my helmet. I was a little pissed off because even the pin lock visor was fogging up. So on this helmet, I decided, I thought maybe it was because the pin lock visor seals down with a little rubber gasket so it can be removed again. But this visor actually, the WePro visor, actually sticks to the visor. 
like uh, adheres to the visor so no air can get between them. Boy, my chin is freezing because this helmet is actually open in the front and this GoPro mount does not really cover that hole. Holy crap, my chin is freezing. I think my face gets colder in this helmet than it does in my open face helmet, to be honest, because I can ride at 20 degrees and my face don't get cold really in my open face helmet, except for my lips get a little cold and my nose, but my chin don't get cold in this helmet. Holy crap, that wind coming around that GoPro and hitting me right in the chin because this chin is wide open. Now, you can see it's not fogging up. I hope you can see that. I should have put my other camera on the bike, but I wasn't actually planning on making a video. So it's really not fogging up. It's fogging around it, but the WePro insert is not fogging up. So I'm pretty happy about that. And there may be a couple of reasons for that. So first off, it is very possible that because this helmet is open in the front and I've got so much cold air coming into it that that's aiding in keeping the visor from fogging up with all that cold air inside the helmet. That's a very good possibility or it could be that it's six degrees warmer today than it was the last time I did a test and maybe that's why it's not fogging up. Maybe there's a temperature range. There's a Maybe there's a temperature you can't go below to keep it from fogging up. I don't know. It's possible, but I really won't know until I do more testing. And I'm the kind of person that I will just continue to test things until I can't test them anymore. <laughs> I'm just that kind of person. I will continue trying to figure something out until I either figure it out or just flat decide it's impossible to figure out and just give up. Because at this stage of the game, like I said in a couple of videos, I am not used to wearing a helmet. In all my years of riding motorcycles, so about 37 years of riding motorcycles, I've never worn a helmet unless I was in a state that required it and usually I wasn't in one of those states for very long. And there was a lot of times I didn't even have a bike when I lived in those states. So when I would go to places like Nevada, places like that, on my motorcycle, I normally didn't live there, I would normally go visit. And of course you gotta have a helmet in Nevada, so I gotta open the visor, it's the WePro is starting to fog up, see? I don't know how clear that shows up on the camera, but it's building up condensation down at the bottom. So I got it. I have to open the visor. So I'm starting to realize that none of these anti-fog visors are going to work for me on any of my helmets. So I've tried them on the Goldwing. I've tried them on this bike. I've tried the expensive helmet with the pin lock visor inside. It fogged up on me. I've tried them, uh, these WePro visors inserts that are uh, much easier to put in place. Um, I just keep trying and nothing's working. Honestly, nothing's working. I've done the, uh, I've done the, um, oh, what do you call it? I did the shaving cream. Wow, my brakes are frozen. No wonder my front brakes aren't working very good. They're froze. My clutch lever was froze solid this morning. I had to just, I literally had to grab my clutch lever, pull on it like this, and then just hold pressure on it until I felt it break loose. Because it was froze solid this morning. I don't know if I'm going to be able to ride this bike much more this winter if it keeps everything keeps freezing up on me the brake calipers froze now my front brake isn't working luckily the back brake is because the brake calipers froze 
or the lever sprues, one of the two. It's either this, I mean, I don't want to break the line. It's either this is froze up or the brake caliper itself is froze up. I'm not sure which, but the back brake still works. So I'm good there. I can still use the back brake. Um, yes, I could probably cover it and it would be better. It wouldn't get all that ice and snow built up on it. But that's the test for today, guys. Obviously, the helmet is still fogging up. Um, nothing I'm doing is working. So at 26 degrees, it still fogs up. I still think that there is a... I still think that there is a temperature range that these are good at. I think that if it's maybe 40 degrees or warmer, which I would love it to get up to 40 degrees so I could test it, or up above freezing at least. Uh, but I will be doing tests like that as well. I will be testing it as the temperature comes up throughout the spring and stuff. I'll be testing these visors again. But for now, I think I'm just going to have to resort to using my open face helmet so I don't have to fight with the fi fogging visors and all that stuff. I think that's, uh, especially, you know, if I'm riding the KLR, if I'm riding the Goldwing, obviously I've got a lot of wind protection, so the open face helmet doesn't let my face get cold. On the KLR, my face gets pretty cold, but, you know, like I said, I just do short jaunts. I just go from one place to the next, you know, maybe go out to eat or go, walk, go to Walmart to do some shopping or you know, whatever the case may be. So it's not like I'm out there for hours on end. So if my face gets a little cold, I guess I can just deal with that. In the meantime, ladies and germs, I will see you in my next video.